then we can do the angiography and figure out if that uh, the rest of that is still is still a problem. Moving, yeah, man, we move people through here so quickly, so quickly. And our money is looking pretty good. I'm tempted that uh, we pay back a little, another one. There we go. Pay back another one. Slowly clawing back the situation here. Hopefully we'll uh, we'll we'll clear out this uh, this emergency and we'll get some more twenty thousand there as well. Ooh, but we have got all the flashing symptoms sorted out. So I believe you need to just go into ICU so we can give you everything you need. HDU hospitalization. Why are you saying this? This level of hospitalization is not available at emergency. Ah, so we can get you into TC. Get you on all of that. But I think what we should rather do is get you into... Let's quickly have a look. If we see... How, how full is ICU at the moment? ICU... Uh, we've got one bed available over there. And then we've got a number of beds available over here. I'm just going to get you into TC hospitalization. Oh, uh, no, 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 no into ICU hospitalization and then we'll start dealing with these things as soon as we can. Emergency care, um, IV infusion. Um, okay, so we need to get you there first. Can you BL? What, what, does, that, what does that mean? Okay, now that with that in mind, let's get you onto this sort of synthesis. Um, do you need oxygen therapy as well? Anti IV infusion, anti rhythmics, anti anti rhythmics. Yeah, that should deal with all of those issues. So once you once we do all of that, you should be stable. You should be stable. Where are you? So we are filling up ICU from down here, so that's good. I like it. ICU is look, doing pretty well. I'm wondering about the number of doctors we have available in ICU, though. That's a, still a bit of a challenge, I think we have. We've got 50% through here. We've got di everybody diagnosed, so we're just treating a few more people. TC is, uh, is managing well. Okay, we still need to figure out what's wrong with you over here. Can you build? Oh, you can? Uh, oh, you mean in this game? So I'm pretty sure the issue we have here is that. So we just need to get you on an ECG as quickly as we can. Uh, while at the same time, we need to schedule you for cardiovascular surgery. What is the treatment for that beta blocker? So we really need to figure out, figure that out before we get you into, into, into surgery. How's our prestige doing? What? Our prestige yesterday wasn't good enough for, to increase our, um, our payments. That's not good. Employee leveled up. Thank you. Okay, three more to go. Let's quickly have a quick look here. So Peter Miller, we know what's wrong with you. And we are giving you... Oh, you need to be treated with cardiovascular surgery. So why aren't we... Um, why aren't we sorting that out? We don't have any more flashing symptoms. So let's just get you onto cardiovascular surgery as quickly as we can. So we can schedule you for surgery and get you treated. Over here, you've got high potential of uh, renal disease. Um, you're going to the doctor. So I'm assuming you will now be um, hospitalized, right? Let's just have a look. Uh, wow, we still have critical workloads. Let's go through this. Um, nothing in emergency. Wow, still add like four, four in uh, radiology. So really we do need to figure that out. Uh, medical laboratories, I think we've sorted them out now. Um, ICU is not a problem. General is not a problem. IM, we'll have a look at IM now. Yeah, that's it. So we just need to check IM. What is IM going, what is going wrong at IM? We just close some of this stuff down so I can find IM and see where the critical workload is at. Uh, it's not the doctor's office. It is not the hospitalization. Uh, is it this facility? Oh man, it's this facility. Not sure what that facility is called right now, but yeah, so it's that facility. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. He's being treated. Uh, how, how are you treated? You need, you need surgery, right? 
That's a little weird. How, how on earth can you be treated? I'm now worried. This guy is... How? how? Hypertensive renal disease. You need renal vascular surgery, right? And we only gave you an... Oh my goodness. Can't, yeah, I was just thinking. That's it. Okay, fine. Okay, let's get you into regular hospitalization, please. And um, yeah, but well, hospitalization wasn't available there for a second. Um, let's get you into that and then you can, we can get you. Um, so once you're hospitalized, you, you will get the, we will be able to uh, access you with some um, renal vascular surgery. I'm going to have a look at you right now. You're waiting, but we've, we've diagnosed you, right? Anyway, I, IV antibiotics, please. Ooh, what is wrong here? Uh, okay, so we'll have to hospitalize you. Why can't we do this? This level of, oh, okay, so what I'll need to do is get you to, to uh, internal medicine. Internal medicine it is, regular hospitalization. Then we'll start uh, treating your various things here. IV antibiotics, um, but we're also going to need to put you onto um, thor uh, thoracentesis or something like that. Let's just uh, bear that in mind for a minute. No, you shouldn't be leaving. No free bed in HDU. We'll have a look at that right now. Patient is collapsing. We'll come back to that in a minute. Can you, oh man, really? This is now the collapses again. Yeah, ooh. Got a regular hospitalization for you though. Should be okay. We'll have a look at our bed situation in just a, just a minute. Can this guy please uh, be called? Oh, so we haven't actually sent you over to that yet. Okay, well, okay hang on. Now we've got tons of issues over here. You need renal vascular surgery. I would like you to rather... Why are you... Anyway, doesn't matter. Does not matter. Let's get all of this stuff sorted out. We need an, an extra bed for you in, in HDU. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Um, over here, where, where do we have our... Oof, that's pretty, pretty tough. We've got some extra beds available. But we could potentially open up. Oh, okay. The one thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to expand this. So that's uh, this is a great time, apart from the fact that we don't have any money, of course. So we don't have any money. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to just go and go back into the loan uh, in system over there. Um, it's just like you just never win with this. And now what we'll do is we'll, we'll have to move some of this stuff, though. That one. Can I put that up onto the wall over there? Now, let's uh, let's get rid of this door. And at the same time, we'll grab... And at the same time, we'll do this. Okay, now I want to extend our HDU at cardiology a little bit. So let's extend that in here, say about up to there. That's good. Now, let's, uh, let's grab the additional bits and pieces. We'll move this guy out there just for a, for a second till we get all of our beds and stuff in here. So, we've got some spare beds over here. So, let's grab, grab a few of them. Slot them in here. Yeah, we'll see about that. There's two more, three more. Let's get another one. Uh, we could do one on this side also. Let's, uh, yeah, no, let's, let's start off over there. Okay, we'll do all of them. Three of them should be okay for now. I think that should do the trick. Uh, okay, one there. One here and one here. Oh, that's a, that's a bed socket. Like so, that should be fine. Then we'll grab some more bed sockets over here also. Bed socket can't go up there, can't go up there, so we'll need to get rid of those. Let's uh, let's get rid of this. We can move them around a little bit, and that's, I think, what we'll do. Eventually, eventually we'll do that. Uh, another bed socket over here, please. Thank you. Okay, that implies now we need some life monitoring stuff, so we do have a few of them around. Uh, again, we'll need to get rid of that window.
do, do. Okay, that one goes. Now we'll grab some more life monitors there and one more over here. And so now we should have a little bit more space available in HDU for uh, for cardiology, so that should be fine. Build more staff, a room and toilet staff like to spend a lot of time hanging out there. Um, yeah, okay, it's uh, not our priority in the, in the middle of the emergency, but yes, it's something we need to look at. Um, okay, so we also had some issues with IM. Let's quickly see, maybe we can squeeze in an extra bed somewhere. Uh, we definitely can't squeeze in an extra bed. So IM, Yeah, I don't think we can do anything to squeeze in an extra bed into that into there. The regular one is fine, but HDU is really, really full. Long wait for a bed, so I think that should be resolved. So thank you. Let's uh, clear you out. Then there's a long wait for a bed in IM. So we'll uh, let's see what else we've got over here. Leveled up, so let's uh, let's clear that out. I don't I don't need to see that. The room workload statistics. Patient can't be fully treated. I think these are old things, right? Let's just quickly see. I think we've dealt with this. Okay, not quite. I still want to get you to get into renal vascular surgery. Um, so that's okay. That should be fine. Got you sorted out. Uh, patient's about to leave. Examined. Um, why are we still doing examinations over here? Why can't we just sort you out with what you need? You need IV antibiotics, right? And I believe you need, oh yeah, it's already on there and the regular hospitalization. So why are you going to CT? This is so weird sometimes. Okay, finish off CT and then go to that, please. That should be fine. There's nothing else scheduled. Long wait for a bed. I think that one is resolved. We built three more beds over there. Patient is collapsing. Let's have a look at this quickly. TC hospitalization over here, heart failure, so we need to defib. Irregular heartbeats of beta blockers, please can we start getting that underway. That should give us enough time to start doing some of the other things that we need to test this out. I uh, have no idea what's actually wrong with you though. We'll do that. Uh, we've managed to deal with some of the basic things over there. You're collapsing as well. Um, so you need a blood transfusion, so please let's do that straight away. And you've got renal laceration, so let's get abdominal surgery going on also. But once we get you onto blood transfusion, you should um, stop uh, collapsing. Thank you. Your hospital looks really cramped. Yeah, it does. It's a, it's a pretty busy, pretty busy one. There's a long wait for bed in hospitalization. Wow. I mean, oh, sorry, hospitalization, Obser observation. Okay, that's a, that's an interesting one. We still don't know what's wrong with you and you're collapsing So at some from time to time or you've got some uh, pretty bad status thing going on over there. Um, I can quite easily squeeze an extra bed in here. That's not, that's not going to be an issue. That I don't think is going to be an issue. We'll get an extra bed in here if we have money. We have money. It's loaned money. Just get the standard stuff that we're using here. Get that bed over there. We'll uh, take out this chair of the monitor. Just, uh, 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 let's just move the chair over there and we'll move the monitor back. We'll get another monitor. I believe there's a monitor up here, so I don't need to necessarily um, buy one more. There's another monitor there, so let's... Um, Drop that in here instead. Excellent. And we'll get a bed socket. There should be a bed socket up there too. <clears throat> bed socket and then down and fill that in. I do like keeping it compact. I do like it. But we will see how we can do. These, some, of these, um, some of these wards has gone much bigger than I ever expected they would go. So uh, that's the thing. Monitored patient. I think we've dealt with it. Yeah, so we've dealt with that. So let's clear this one out. Um, long wait for a bit. So the other one, the only other one that we've got an issue with is one patient still needs an HDU bed in IM. And where are you currently situated though? Um, you're in observation, I believe. So are we treating this though? Let's start treating that and then you can, can actually wait. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, the voice is starting to get uh, run into a bit of problems. Let's uh, let's start treating your stuff though. 
IV antibiotics. We can't do IV antibiotics here. We can. So we, why don't we just treat you here? Can we keep you in emergency? And just, uh, oh, we can't treat that. Okay, fine. So not available in this department. Yeah, okay, fine. No, no, sorry about that then. Let's just get you back onto that and make sure that we treat you. Hopefully, um, ooh, hopefully you're not going to go and collapse on us while we wait. Okay, we've got <clears throat> we've got about ten more minutes in the stream, and we've got about ten more minutes left on this um, on this emergency situation. Let's quickly run through and see if these people are now being treated. The renal vascular surgery has been scheduled over here, so you should be treated. <clears throat> Patient is collapsing. Um, who are you, and what is what is wrong with you? You're in a coma. You you've gone into a coma. So where will we actually find coma stuff? For some reason, I don't know why you are still having all of these um, stuff on, on here because we're really looking for something that has a coma in it. All right, because you have a coma symptom. Is a coma not really a symptom? Is that is that the thing? Yeah, it seems like a coma is not a symptom. Doc, is coma a symptom or is coma something else? Is, is, is it a symptom of any disease? I know it's a it's a symptom that's that's on here, but is it uh, is it a symptom of, of of any specific diseases? Do specific diseases have coma as a symptom? What is that? That's brain inflammation. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't actually find coma on any one of these though. Oh, uh, what about assigning a janitor uh, to a surgery suite so there's a quicker turnover? Yeah, absolutely, that's something we can look at. Coma is not a specific symptom. Okay, <clears throat> so coma is not indicative of any one disease. Yes, okay. Is that, that the situation in real life as well? I'm assuming yes. Uh, let's quickly have a look at this, uh, this suggestion here about janitors in, uh, in surgery suites. Uh, if we look at, so how did we go about assigning janitors? So if I go and grab one of my janitors over here, can I assign them? Oh, this is not, uh, this is not actually the, the room that I'm after. Okay, okay get back out of there. Let's, uh, let's see. This is general surgery. It's not general surgery. So it's orthopedics then. Orthopedics over here. Can we assign the orthopedics janitor? Can we assign them over here? We can, we can, that's awesome. That is awesome. Then I would also like to do the same thing at night. Let's uh, go in here again, get a night, uh, night one and we'll assign that at night as well. So now we've got janitors that's assigned to the operating theater so that we can clear that out quickly. That's an excellent suggestion. When am I gonna play OpenTDD? Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure that's gonna be anytime soon. I am slowly starting to have a look at it, but I'm not sure I'm going to just jump into that. M maybe we can do a bit of an OpenTDD stream uh, at some point. That, that's something that, that can happen. That is something that can happen, but I, I'll need to figure out the game first. Um, okay, let's just see where are we at now. This is cardiology, I believe. Yeah, okay, so let's get the cardiology janitor over here to um, look at, um, take care of the operating theater. We'll do that again with a night one as well. Please take care of the operating theater. I don't mind the rest too much, but we need the operating theaters taken care of. Um, and in, ooh, this is general. <clears throat> general over here, let's grab a janitor and we'll make sure they take care of that. And again, a night janitor and make sure to take care of that. Excellent, I think that's a very good, a very good one to look at. Okay, good. Can we finish this off now? Long wait for CT, I'm sure that's the case. But why, how about we uh, start treating you in, instead? Uh, oh, you are being treated. So why, let's just cancel CT then. We've got everything sorted out. You don't have to wait for that. Good. Mother Earth, sorry, late today. How long are you still streaming? Uh, only the last 10 minutes. But thanks for popping by anyway. Still about 10 minutes left.
Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I do realize the hospital is pretty cramped. No, what happened? Who's this? This is the coma patient. Is this patient, though? This is not a patient on here, though. Cattle? Cattle is not on here. Excellent. That's good. Um, okay, so what we'll do is we need to figure out what's going on here. So let's make sure to get the autopsy done as soon as we can. I definitely want to, that flashing symptom here is the one. So at the moment, there's two comas, a breathing problems and a fatigue. And I do want to see what's going on over there. Employees leveled up. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's close some of these things out. Not sure about the IM situation over there. Employees leveled up. Excellent over there. Uh, what's going on over here? Peter, you uh, need to go to surgery. So that's okay. Waiting for that. Um, David Hall. <coughs> Waiting for free operating room, okay, and they're both in cardiovascular, yeah, okay, we'll have a look at that now, and William Thompson, oh, Thomas, sorry, waiting for a free operating room again, so, okay, let's quickly have a look at the situation in cardiology operating theater, cardiology operating theater, we should have Peter Hall, David Hall, William Thomas, and then Judy Johnson is somewhere, someone new, <clears throat> uh, we only have one surgical team at any given time. So we've got a nighttime surgical team. So let's see, where's the operating theater? Uh, something is underway over here at the moment. So hopefully that can get cleaned up very quickly. Let's see how that goes. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, with the janitor assigned here, I'm hoping the janitor will rush to come and clean this. Not yet. Patient on pathology. Okay. So patient has uh, been transferred to pathology. Pathology. You can send the body to funeral services or perform an autopsy. We've man managed, we're sending the, them for an autopsy. Let's quickly pop upstairs. Bed required. Your staff has been busy for a long time. Yeah, I know there is, we've got a number of things going on. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I know that. We're waiting. We're waiting on it. Um, okay. Let's see what happens with pathology over here. I'm very keen to see what these others are. So breathing problems and fatigue is in here. We want to see what else is in here. Uh, so what else? Brain inflammation um, and slurred speech. Okay. So brain inflammation was the uh, was the thing, and that is uh, then this was well, we needed antivirals. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, anyway. Oh, we only had very little money for that. Uh, okay. So we've got someone coming in for surgery straight away. Excellent. So we're running through surgery pretty quickly over here, but we're only doing one surgery at a time because we only have one, uh, one set of one surgical team in any shift for any department. Uh, daily news, patient numbers and insurance back to normal. Uh, what happened with our stuff over here? Yeah, so our insurance payments and stuff is better. Autopsy is finished. Oh, excellent. I should actually send them, send them to, to leave. Clear all of that. With that long cardio surgery list, you may have to double surgery teams on morning shift. Yeah, potentially, potentially, but it is, yeah. We, we, we probably then also need to start looking at additional operating theaters because at the moment, oh, actually the other two operating theaters are, are, uh, are actually empty. Uh, and geography, what's going on? Why can't we get you to that? You're being skipped, huh? But there's no hidden symptom here that's actually going to collapse you at the moment. Can we just get you treated? Nitrates? Maybe, maybe we'll just, uh, we'll skip it. I don't know. Let's leave it. We'll see what's going on. Okay. Yeah, we may need additional um, surgery teams over here. Let's uh, see. We've got one more treater. Two more needs to go into surgery. Patient can't be fully treated. Um, why is that? Well, let's hospitalize you in the regular hospitalization. That seems to be the right thing to do. And then we'll get you treated. That's as simple as that, right? Regular hospitalization and... Yes, I know. Can we, can we start activating this? Going to bed. Once you're in the hospital bed, we will uh, assign that and we should get you treated. Nice. 
Okay, Peter, uh, we need someone waiting for a free operating. Yes, I know, I know. You don't have to tell me this 16 times. I know this as a situation already. Um, you're waiting for that, so let's see. Can we, is there something we can do to kind of sort that out? Okay, uh, uh, the janitor coming in here does uh, does sort that out pretty quickly though. And here comes, I, I hope, I hope they'll come and sort this out as quickly as possible. Wow, I see you've got a lot of people even up here. Can we start our teams coming in? Teams, where's my teams? Uh, HTU hospitalization still an issue. You need IV antibiotics, which you are getting. Um, I'm going to let you wait, actually. Where are you? You're currently in regular hospitalization. Where where are you at the moment? You, why, why do you need to be in, in HTU, though? I don't know. Where are you at, at this very moment? You are in a hospital bed, are you? Yeah, this is you here, Thomas. So you are in a hospital bed. Just chill, man. Just chill. Oh yes, we're we've kind of got the end of the end of the stream. I believe. Um, I'll I'll do a few more minutes so we see how we end up with this um, with this uh, with this uh, emergency. So I'll do a few more minutes just to see if we can f finish this one off. Judy Johnson. Why, are Ju why is Judy Johnson um, up here? Uh, Judy Johnson isn't even one of these. Why are we doing Judy's surgery first? That is just not right. Let's make sure to put these two onto priority. Surgical team is now dealing in a, using another room. I'm just going to wait out those surgeries quickly and then we'll uh, finish off the stream. So I'm going to give you guys an extra few minutes as a freebie. Long wait. Yes, I know. I know about this. I'm uh, actually, I wanted to check. Are you in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. Oh, you, you could be. You could be in trouble. You could be in trouble. Why are you about to leave? You're about to leave why? Very long time and getting tired of waiting. Really? You've, you, you seem to have just arrived. Is there a big long list of people sitting around here? We should be able to get you sorted very quickly, right? Where are you? There's no doctor up here, buddy. Oh, okay. What we'll do is we'll have to get a nighttime doctor in here too. Uh, nighttime doctor um, up here, just a basic doctor should be fine. That's going to be okay. Okay, what we'll do is we'll get a, a nighttime doctor up here as well. So it seems like we're going to have to have a nighttime doctor in each of the waiting room. Otherwise, it's going to kind of go bad. We need to get you treated on this straight away, though. You can't really wait. Um, so if we go to IM... which is up here, this is full. What, what about the regular hospitalization? What about that? Can't we, can't we go with regular hospitalization? You're obviously not um, hospitalized at a higher... Oh, so you're in bed here, huh? You're hospitalized waiting for a bed. So this can only be treated in... in um, Invasive procedure, high discomfort. So this can only go into, I don't know, but you are actually hospitalized at the moment. So waiting for a bed is the issue here. Maybe, okay, maybe what we can do, can we put you into ICU instead? That's kind of what I'm wondering about. Can we IC, uh, put you in ICU quickly? How many ICU beds do we have? Whoa, ICU. Oh, no, no, that's ICU. Uh, ICU is pretty full, actually. Not very full. Let's get you into ICU and see if that will work. Instead of HDU, let's get you into ICU. And then we're just kind of getting these other ones done. There's still a long wait over there. Actually, I want to see if you're, if you're, uh, you're not, you're fine. Event successful. Excellent. We've got that done. Let's quickly see what we're getting here. 20K. That's awesome. 
let's uh, let's pull back one of our loans just while we have that money, just the one, and then we'll see how we go from there. Uh, end of the day is coming close, so we just need to do one more. Okay, perfect. Perfect, guys, so that we spent a little bit of extra time just so that we could clear that emergency, and we did, so I'm quite happy about that. Thank you so much for joining the stream. I'm always happy to have you all here. It's tons of fun if you guys interact with me like you do, so I do enjoy that a, a lot. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Um, anybody uh, from YouTube, please, uh, please, if you enjoy it as well, please feel free to leave some comments down below. What do you think we should do next and, and, and expand this hospital? See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.